Hey guys, this is Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today I wanted to share a pickups video with you. My adventure, and you know, not all of them always go out very well. Uh, this one wasn't anything super spectacular, but at the end, I did get something that was very unusual and different for the channel. And I hope you sit back, watch, and enjoy, and I hope you find as much fun out of it as I did. All right, so here's the first stop at the Salvation Army. I'm going to see if I can pick up anything interesting here. All right, well... All right, well, I just got out of the Salvation Army. Unfortunately, that was a bust. They didn't have anything. They had one VHS player, but it was a real ancient one. I didn't think anybody would want it. And all the games behind the glass were nothing really worth uh, able to flip or anything. So, darn. All right, so now the heck to the next place. Let's even get better luck. All right, so I went to a discount outlet here, and they have a lot of trades. I'm not big into collecting trades, but I get, wow, look at the big stacks of Miss Marvel here. As much as I hear how much and how great they sell, they're astronomical amounts of them, and they're $2.99. Yeah, selling really great there. I, I just love it when they spin the narrative. Let's see what else they got here, if they got anything actually worth getting. Yeah, Robin's pretty good. Yeah, get some Robin's. Always a good Robin here. I love the dictionary of Robin. Let's see what else they got. They actually got really good prices here. Just unfortunate, I have most of these already, the stories of any of them that I have bought. Hmm, Star Wars fans might like that. Oh, what do we have up here? Oh, look, $2.99 A-Force, big seller. <laughs> oh boy, you gotta love that. That's what happens when you push something that's really nobody wants. <sighs> well, that shop was a bust. Well, next I went to the local Goodwill. I tend to go to three in the area. So let's hope that this one has something. I went just a few days ago and didn't find anything very good there. But maybe, who knows, because you never know when they get another bit of inventory in. So I try to check as often as I can when I'm in the area. All right, well, here's the DVDs and, and game section. As you see here, this store doesn't really carry a whole lot of them. I like some of the bigger areas that have more. This one is sort of uh, run down, and they tend to put a lot of Xbox 360 in here as well as we but just recently they started putting more of them behind a glass case at the counter all right so i just got out of goodwill so what did i actually get well <laughs> it was a pretty bust day for most part but i did get a couple things that were okay like i got army of two from the goodwill and i spent three dollars on army of two which once again is not a great deal it was just a little bit under market uh, but another one I got is um, Medal of Honor Frontline for PlayStation 2. Because I like to pick up a PlayStation 2 game when I get the opportunity to to enhance my PlayStation 2 collection. Now, that's not what the big deal was, though. That's not what I was like, oh my goodness, how did I find this? This is something not in the norm that I normally get that I got here today. But I was there, and this is something you usually don't see. So, with the Salvation Army, got nothing. Goodwill, got two games. Okay, and this is out of two tries, uh within a week so I went to each of these places but this time here's what I found at the Goodwill here I got a Batman statue here this was a GameStop so let me put it the back so you can see what it's gonna look like we'll put it there but it's in the box completely sealed everything and I got this at Goodwill it's just not something you normally get at Goodwill and you know I don't get a lot of statues and things like that they're usually quite expensive and this one goes for around 25 to a little over $30 online and I originally wasn't gonna get it I seen it, I was like wow that looks pretty cool what's the price and I looked at the price and they have it marked for $25 now, when I see $25, I was like, oh, you know, I'd like it. It's cool and all, and I'd like to have some Batman in here, but I just didn't want to spend it. Well, then the person told me, oh, the, the yellow tag ones are half off. So I ended up getting this for $12.50. So there is fully complete in box $12.50 Batman statue. Quite the score. I originally thought I'm going to pick this up and sell it. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to keep this one for the room. And as I'm in the process right now, if you haven't noticed, there's a complete mess in here. It's because that's why there's a tarp on the floor and, and things there to the side. Is because I'm in the process of redoing this room. I moved everything over, painted that side. I got that over there, hanging up with all those controllers in it. That's really cool. Now I, Then I moved everything over and painted this back side that you don't see. And right now I'm in the process of painting cabinet doors. I did a countertop. So the uh, Frugal Fortress is, is turning out pretty cool, but this I think is going to be in the Frugal Fortress. Well, 
So there you go. That's the pickup. Uh, what do you guys think of this? Was this a pretty good de deal for twelve dollars and fifty cents? <laughs> I enjoy. Think I, I think I did a good job here. I said I think this one's going to stay in the frugal fortress. So you're probably going to see it uh, put up back there somewhere or on one of those shelves later on. Uh, what I think I think if I hit three thousand uh, viewers, not only a little frugal, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway when we do. Um, I think I might do a, a new tour of the Frugal Fortress once it's done, which should be pretty soon. Hopefully I'll have that many subscribers. If not, I might do it anyway. What the heck, just have a little fun share. And I love I love seeing what you guys do with your fortresses, your man caves, your woman caves, whatever you want to call it. Once again, mine's a mess. You see here, the TV's moved out. But anyway, that's my pickups. Nothing super spectacular, but it was something a really odd find. Have you found anything like this at your local, you know, set resale shop and things like that? Because I just usually don't find that kind of thing here at ours. All right, well, thanks for watching. Till next time, keep it frugal. That's the second time this week I've hit it. Nothing. Well, zip. Nothing, you know. That's how game chasing go. Well, sometimes it's hit, sometimes it's missed.